So, it's fucking late. Um, well, I don't know. There are a lot of people who make their informal vlog videos at, like, fucking three or four in the morning. Like, I watched this, this She One Head video where she's reading some, some hater comments. I'm super ghostly right now. Whatever. Doesn't matter. And it ends up being four when she stops the video. I don't know. Um, but I just realized I promised a vlog series, a daily vlog series, at least while I'm uh, away, and I hadn't done mine today. So, man, I, I don't understand how these ring lighting systems are supposed to make you look good. I look like Phantom. Um, anyway, as I'm getting used to reflecting this much light, I guess the point of these is that they like they they give your face more flatness without makeup cuz you can't see a fucking blemish on me right now. I'm fucking paper draw on my shit. Okay, so off the rails already. I thought for a moment I would talk today about speeding. Um I got into <laughs> a nice and uh angry conversation with some, I think all of them are children. I, I have no reason to believe that all of these people are anything but children. Like, I know that the, the one they're friends with is a child. Um, and I know that they're all in the same geometry dash community, which, okay. But like, ultimately, uh, I posted a thing, um, and it got many people angry. I, I knew it would. I mean, <laughs> you post about a guy who filmed cops while they were dying and had a laugh. Uh, you're going to get some, some negative, like press from some folks. Uh, and I have no like compunctions about saying that I take exactly zero. I said back because my original tweet, uh, was completely in line with anarchist thinking. Uh, I said, drug possession is a victimless crime. Speeding is a victimless crime. Outraging public decency is a victimless crime. Uh, cops have to speed to catch up to speeders, proving it's safe. Every law is a lifted gun carrying threat of death. Richard Pousset did nothing wrong. Now, for those of you who don't know who Richard Pousset is, he's an Australian, and... <laughs> any place related to the UK has fucked speech laws. So, um, effectively, I think something that might have even been legal in the US uh, was not legal there. <laughs> Although they would have had similar problems anyway. They would have found a way to throw the book at him. I'm not saying the US is fucking freedomtopia. It is absolutely the opposite. This is a dystopia, and if you want to find out more... Uh, you can head over to agorisnexus.com uh, or any of my insane, unhinged social media presences. But basically, um, the, <laughs> the post garnered some negative reactions. I'm going to read something from my Discord, DM for invite, um, that I think relatively well encompasses it. It's from uh, read wild underscore bayou 6327 if you want to friend him or whatever. He said, people don't know what to do when someone exposes their ignorance. They realize they never actually thought about a topic before, and it scares them. I could not agree more, because what this person said, I'm just going to sort of go over the thread. Uh, Speeding makes it more likely for you to get into a car accident, so it's not a victimless crime, it's reckless endangerment. And I said, no it doesn't. Most people speed their whole lives by around five over. And many more speed more than that and don't hurt anyone, including cops who speed to catch up with speeders, among other things, which is why you cited no statistical or physical data in your likelihood. Uh, he responds, uh, I'd imagine speeding in a school zone is obviously dangerous without needing to be a statistic. Now, I see cartoon drawing. I see somebody who's, like, immediately defaulting to school. I think child. I... I I have no reason to believe that at a living drawing is anything but a child. 
I'm not asking you guys to go harass these people. I've already done that. Um, so I said nope, which is why it's a popular speed trap. Cops can hide in them easy and pull over anyone driving safely but fast because much children are present and not have to prove any children were in fact present. It's all arbitrary. Always has been. Cops need to meet performance. Now, I'm working on research and writing for a uh, police brutality documentary. Y'all can feel free to support that if you want, but uh, uh, if you just want to support me, there are some links in the bio. Uh, either way, uh, <laughs> he drops it with, uh, you aren't worth my time after I say that. But it's well-researched. Um, I read a book uh, called To Protect and Serve, and one of the things he goes over uh, is the fact that, uh, yeah, you know what? It's, it's fucking not a quota system. At least it's not called that, right? It's not uh, called a quota system. It's called performance. They don't call it quota systems anymore. They just say that you need to get a certain level of performance, so people are still writing tickets to a numbered system, and it's still basically just a fucking quota system, but they call it performance. And they're not interested in saving lives, much less kids' lives. That's why they're totally fine locking up dads. Um, they're interested in, uh, in, in getting more funding and more excuses for more funding. Um, so he says, you aren't worth my time. Uh, even though I, I, I posted something objectively fucking true. So I said, when you don't have an argument, you know, whatever, 4 chanting on him. But, like, um, <laughs> the, the argument still goes on, right? And he's like, no, your argument was so stupid and delusional that I wasn't going to waste my time continuing it. Uh, which <laughs> JD at the Ego and its Pwn... Uh, says, you aren't worth my time, guy who's still replying, so hat tip to you. Also, you can see me on his channel, Spontaneous Order Productions, debating whether or not the Chauvin verdict was good for liberty. But basically, uh, the conversation also continues with me, and I said, you have no argument. I'm trying to taunt him into giving me an actual reply. And he says, just look up any story of children playing on the road and getting hit by a speeding car to know why your, as in you are, argument is bullshit. And I said, just look up any story of children playing on the road and getting hit by a non-speeding car to know why your non-argument is bullshit. Um, <laughs> he says, this is why I don't get into arguments on Twitter. It's like arguing with a brick wall. And I said, or maybe you have no argument, just appeals to emotion, among other things. You can't prove your points, and you want me to accept them regardless. It's pathetic. Doubly pathetic is claiming you don't get into arguments on Twitter. I mean, it's true, you don't have one. So, that one, like, largely stopped there. I, like, I later responded to, to, to his tweet here, um, because he said, like, how about basic physics? The faster something is going translates into said object taking longer to stop, being harder to control, and giving you less reaction time. I said, how about basic physics? Speed limit signs have been proven to cause rapid changes in speed, thus causing cars previously driving totally safely to hit slower vehicles, resulting in crashes. Oh, but that would involve reading the study analysis I linked, and y'all hate homework. Now, that's study. I linked it in response to this tweet by Swaggin80, um, true intellectual titans, these. And he, he posted this, like, the, the result of a Google search, which said 90% of all car crashes are caused by human error, including reckless driving. A 2001 study estimated that driver error contributed to 99% of all car wrecks. So, <laughs> the decision error that he cites... And it includes three screenshots, just so that you're sure he's serious. Uh, includes driving too fast, uh, for sure. But it's only one of multiple factors, including uh, taking a cur curve or turn too quickly, passing when unsafe or driving on the shoulder, following too closely, aggressive driving, reckless driving. So, um, first off, note that it separates reckless driving from driving too fast. Um, so, it's, it's basically saying that you can drive uh, all of the other ways without being reckless. But, like, the point I'm trying to make here is that, like, 
uh, the reasons for driver caused crashes in the chart that he includes includes decision error as maybe 35% of the total chart. And since speeding is only a part of that, uh, according to his own source, the vast majority of accidents aren't caused primarily by speeding. Um, so I, I linked uh, a thing telling him that after, you know, telling him that. Uh, and, and, I, and I also linked a, uh, a, a PSU.edu, Penn State.edu study which says that uh, according to state and federal studies drivers are driving significantly below the uh, that are driving significantly below the average speed are the ones that are most likely to get involved in an accident studies show that the most accidents occur when the driver is driving at 10 miles per hour slower than the speed limit so someone going 45 in a 55 has a bigger chance of getting into an accident than someone driving at 65 to 70 miles per hour and it says, what would happen if speed limits were raised? Regardless of the speed limit, most drivers only go as fast as they deem safe for them. Uh, there was an 18-month study along the New York Thruway when the speed limit was increased from 55 to 65. The average speed limit of the road remained the same at 68, regardless of that change. A national study that was conducted by the Federal Highway Administration said that there was no change in the speed of drivers, regardless of lowering or increasing the speed limit. The average speed of the drivers remained the same. The main problem on roads that causes accidents is the differences in speed, rather than speed itself. While some people are going faster than others, some go slower, which causes the traffic to flow unevenly. If the speeds, if the speed limits are, I think this is written by a student. It's, it needs some spell checking. If the speed limits are raised to comply with the actual travel speeds, the roads become safer because the traffic now flows more evenly and people start going to the same speeds. This actually shows that drivers are not affected by the speed limits that much, but rather slow drivers. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, says that, not, that only 30% of the accidents that are fatal are accidents in which the driver was speeding. This does not mean that speeding actually is the cause of the accident. A study conducted by the Florida Department of Tra Transportation says that accidents that were caused by speeding are actually 2.2%. This shows that if people drive faster altogether, it is actually safer than driving slow. When the speed limits are lower on... And by the way, this is cited the fuck out. Like, this guy has a citation for every single one of these claims. Uh, when the speed limits are lower on the roads where people feel safe going faster, people don't follow the speed limits and also don't care for traffic signals as seriously. So the speed limits should be raised to make the drivers feel comfortable and safe and also to make them feel satisfied that they're not breaking the laws. Congress ruled that states were free to create their own speed limits. 31 states immediately raised their speed limits to more than 70 miles per hour. 29 of these states had an immediate rate of decline for deaths and injuries related to car accidents. So, that was ignored. That was completely ignored by literally everybody who subsequently responded. It was all emotional pleas all the way down. But either way, I just thought I'd have an interesting talk about speeding today. Because let me tell you, my family speeds all the fucking time. No car accidents that are their fault that I know about. And like, I was the same. Uh, not another speeding ticket. I'll fight it in court, but I don't think they're gonna accept gotta go fast as a medical condition. I didn't get into any car accidents uh, that were my fault at all. And I regularly sped. I sped so much and got so many tickets for doing so that the California Highway Patrol threatened to take my license. And they said that if I kept on doing it, they would take my license. That, it, you know, we know your driving is, like, safe in your mind, but it's not in reality or some shit like that. It was a jerk-off letter. I wish I had kept it. I wish I had, had at least taken a picture of it so that people could see it in all its wondrous glory. Proof that I am an 100% certified badass. But, like... The point generally I'm trying to make is that uh, don't believe people just because they're emotional with you because most of the time they're not looking at the facts. They're looking at the, you know, fear-mongering bullshit that they're fed, probably in this case by the school system directly, telling them any sort of driving is evil. 
um, if it doesn't follow the exact government fucking rules. Um, I, I just needed to get this out there, and I needed to get my promise kept and actually get the fucking vlog done. So anyway, uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you actually do like this for some fucking reason. I don't understand why you would, but, you know, whatever. If it's too casual, fine, let me know. Talk shit in the comments, I don't care. But uh, the point is that speeding doesn't kill. Uh, being dumb kills. And that'll kill you by a wide variety of methods. So maybe don't blame speeders for your own incompetence. Especially if you raise your kids to play in the street when cars are there. That's not anybody's fault but yours. <laughs> Have a good evening.